Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you kind of like a workaround on how to fix the thumb problem that I ran into uh, in my first tutorial. So if you haven't seen that tutorial, go ahead and check it out because this is more like an update on how to fix the finger. But pretty sure, let me go ahead and zoom in here. So you can see here on my right hand, and I do have this feeding on uh, Access Neuron Live. You see that thumb is really jacked up, and I told you the only way you can probably fix that is by doing a manual remap, remapping in the Neuron Live link. And here is the thumb now that I think looks a lot better. I mean, if you look at this thumb, and look at this thumb, that's, that's a big difference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and give this guys for you guys to download so you don't have to pretty much remap everything by name like I did. Let me go ahead and show you how I did this. So if you go to the Neuron Live Link folder right here, uh, you gotta install the plugin. Like I said, follow the previous tutorial on how to do this. And then if you go to the assets and I go to manual remap, you're gonna see that I actually remapped everything by name. But I knew there was something funny going on with the thumb. So the way I was able to fix that is I just did uh, thumb one to be one and also thumb two to be one. So that's why you see that. Now, if I do that to the right hand now, see it's two, three, one or two, three, three. Now I'm going to go with one. I'm sorry. It's hard to type with the gloves on. So one, one and then compile and save. Now you're going to see that that thumb doesn't look as bad as it did earlier. So you can see that. See? All right. And then to get that working, you would have to plug in, like I said in the previous tutorial, you have to go to your body, go to your blueprint. And right here, you would have to choose the manual remap asset instead of the mannequin live link remap asset. You're going to choose the manual remap asset. So when I um, let you guys download this, make sure you put it in the correct folder in the Neuron Live Link content. So if I go right here, right click, or, you know, there's, it's going to have, so whenever you guys, you guys download the plugin from Epic Marketplace, go ahead and right click here and show an explorer. And all you have to do is replace, make sure you save, make sure you save the original so you don't mess it up and then just replace the one that I'm going to let you guys download. So all you have to do is legit go to the blueprint and change it there. Now I am still messing around with it. As you can see here, uh, I am trying to get the, the, uh, hands to like shut close like that. And as you can see, that's, that's a lot better than it did earlier in my previous tutorial. Look at that. It's actually not working. I mean, it's, it's actually not that bad now. Um, but yeah, so mess around here and let me know if you can get to, you can fix this. I mean, right now, I don't know if that's just my hand not shutting, but another thing that I tried and I think it worked a little bit is if I go back here, I'm going to go to the right index finger and I'm actually going to put one as well in there. And we're having to do this because the bone name, and the structures are just different from the um, neuron and the meta human. So uh, hopefully they'll maybe come up with something better. But for now, I mean, I got this to work. So I'm going to go right here and one. And I'm going to compile and save. And I'm going to minimize that. And now you see that. I, see, I, see, I'm closing right now. I'm actually closing my hands and that that index is going further than the rest of my hands. So see that right there. That's kind of cool. So uh, maybe maybe I can just do it for the rest of that so I can actually shut my my hand a little bit. Or maybe I can move it. Maybe I can move that to we're just really doing trial and error here maybe if i move it to the two i'm gonna go ahead and and this is the left index so i'm gonna go ahead and minimize yeah no that didn't that didn't do that made it worse and it looks like one was better okay so if i go back here and uh left index finger i'm gonna try three see what that looks like the same thing so it's still one that's better as far as 
like go in and pretty much you see that so if I do that for all of my fingers take the middle one put it here the ring one put it here pinky one put it here compile and save I think we got everybody and then we go to the right side so thumb one I'm not gonna touch that one because that one's good that one's good middle three ring three pinky pinky all right so now if i compile and save there you go see that i can actually close my fist a little bit more okay see that one two three four five six seven okay and my fingers are crooked so that's probably why it's crooked but look at that we can actually kind of like box now and stuff you know so but yeah guys that's just like a really quick video quick update to that tutorial that i did um i think i messed up the thumb on the right side hang on so you can see that's not right so i'm gonna go to the right again and see what happened there so one one three one one three okay no that is right compile and save I think it's just my sensors. I'm, I'm adjusting the sensors right now. But yeah, that's much better than what we started before with messed up fingers and flat hands. All right, guys. So that was just a really quick tutorial. Go ahead and download the Live Link Remap asset if you are using Perception Neuron um, as well, like a motion capture, motion capture suit from Perception Neuron, Access Neuron, and see if that works. Now, obviously, like I said, it's not perfect, but I think we're getting there.